The three-year-old's mother was arrested in January on the same charges. And as we've reported, the child died of asphyxia due to suffocation. The child's uncle and grandfather faced the judge today, accused of felony child endangerment that resulted in death. Court documents list her name as Areli Doe. The girl's mom, Claudia Hernandez, has already been in jail since early this year, charged with the same crime. The cause of death findings in the recent coroner's report just led detectives to her brother and father, both named Rene Hernandez. And the allegations are horrifying. This case is, is heartbreaking. As we've reported, the family belongs to an offshoot church that rents a room in the Second Street home in San Jose. Court documents show the family believes Arely Doe was possessed by demons because she would wake up in the middle of the night screaming and crying. The prosecutor alleges that back in September, the trio held the three-year-old girl down in the church for 12 hours as they performed an exorcism-like ceremony. They allegedly called the authorities two hours after she died. Arely Doe was strangled multiple times to the point of unconsciousness. Arely Doe had fingers shoved down her throat to the point where she had multiple injuries to her mouth and to her tongue. The attorney for the younger Rene says people shouldn't jump to conclusions about the family just because they were arrested. I haven't received any discovery yet and there's no reason to rush to judgment on a case like this. The girl's mother, Claudia Hernandez, posted this 43-minute video on YouTube where she talks about her daughter's death. I could sit here and be negative about the thing like, oh, like I wish I could go back and this and this and that. But it's like there is no point of me doing that, you know, because I cannot change what is, you know, it is what it is. Police arrested her just days after this post. These three individuals are going to held, be held accountable for the death of a three-year-old child. In another bizarre twist, this is the same small church where baby Brandon's family and his suspected kidnappers are also members. We spoke to the church landlord on the phone today. Yo no sabía que los the landlord says he didn't know about the arrests and has now given the church 30 days to vacate. The church is being evicted as many members of its small congregation, including the pastor, are behind bars. At the Hall of Justice, Damien Trujillo. NBC Bay Area News.